Hello there, everyone. Hello, everyone. My name is Ghost Wolf Alpha. Back again with another stream tonight. Today is Sunday, May nineteenth, of twenty twenty four, and and, to the, and tonight we're playing Star Trek Online. Now we're left off as we got done with the Klingon Klingon War arc, and we're going to be starting the new arc, which is dealing with Rom with the Romulan Star Empire. So, Anyway, I do hope you're do all doing good tonight, chat. If not, I hope hope being here will make you feel better. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? Yeah, I did a little minor mission, which was literally this this one. Decided to just park my ship out here at. At Seoul in order to, in order to get this taken care of again, and just so you see, I'm in my ship. Mainly so I could do. That is not supposed to be up. There we go. Hello, Admiral Quinn told me that you would be available to take me to Starbase 39 Sierra. From there, I'm going to the Hobus system. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have about that area. Fascinating place. I've made it my life's work. This life, anyway. I can already tell join Trill because of that. Um, anyway, tell me about the Hobus system. In 2387, the star in the Hobus system went supernova. The resulting explosion devastated the planets in the system, of course. But then it created a chain reaction that cut a path of destruction more than 500 light years long. More than a dozen systems were affected by the Hobus event. Most notably, the Romulus system. Both Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Billions lost their lives. You know, I haven't figured out how to get that blurring effect taken care of. I'll actually do that right this second. Okay, you there at least will give me some something to take a look at. Um, oh no. Oh, I forgot to turn on auto loot. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's really all I could do for this bit there. Um, no. Bloom quality? I'm not just. I'm not gonna the mess with it. The thing is, M-class planet like Romulus should have been protected by its stellar magnetosphere and its planetary magnetic field. They act like shields to protect the planet from radiation, and a supernova blast is highly energetic radiation. If the supernova is large enough, it will overwhelm those defenses. But the Romulans should have had decades to prepare for the wave's arrival. As it was, they only had hours. Goodbye. Okay. Did Starfleet try to help the Romulans? Ambassador Spock attempted to organize an evacuation, but the Romulan Senate refused. I guess they thought they had more... time. That was a horrible time. Ambassador Spock had a plan to stop the wave, but after the destruction, a Romulan named Nero blamed him. Nero had a ship of awesome power. We still don't know everything about the Narada, but we think the Romulans used Borg technology to create it. Nero destroyed dozens of our ships, and even attacked a Klingon fleet led by General Worf. I hear Worf barely survived. 
Ultimately, Nero confronted Spock in the Hobus system. Spock managed to use red matter to create an artificial singularity to contain the worst of the supernova's blast, but both he and Nero were lost. Goodbye. Okay. What is the current situ uh, current Romulan political situation? In a word, troubled. Sela rules what remains of the Star Empire and isn't shy about using the Tal Shiar and the military to bring systems back into the fold. Meanwhile, Ditan and his unificationists have formed the Romulan Republic. The Federation and the Klingons recently recognized them at Kittimer, while Empress Sela and her allies express their disapproval violently. Tensions remain high. The Remans have formed a resistance movement in response to Imperial persecution. There's a lot of bad blood between Remans and Romulans that could end rather poorly. Even more troubling are reports concerning Taurus, the former Imperial Praetor. She was ousted from power by Sela, and rumor has it she's seeking powerful allies from both within the Empire and without. Sela made a lot of enemies over the years. This could be their chance to settle old scores. Goodbye. Are you ready to go? Packed and ready. The USS Tucker is waiting for me at the Starbase. They'll be taking me to the Hoba system. Maybe this time we'll find the clues we need to solve this mystery. Okay. Goodbye. Let's get out. Let's get out of here and... A lot of course to... Starbase 39 Sierra. And also, let's get some music going. The Romulans were once a passionate, vibrant species, but the loss of their homeworld has left them in ashes. The survivors of the Cataclysm have gathered under the banner of Empress Sela. She has sought out new allies from the Delta Quadrant in an attempt to rebuild the Romulans' former might. And now, she seeks revenge for a lost world and a broken people. Okay, I need a different, 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 need to skip this song. Not liking it. There we go, that's better. Okay. Into the system we go. Thank you. Congratulations, Congratulations Lieutenant Commander. Is there anything else you want to know? Um, are you scared to go to Romulan space? Never! The crew of the Tucker can handle anything the Romulans can throw at us. Besides, you can only learn so much from sensors and probes. To really understand the Hoba system, we need to be there. Okay, what else can you tell me about the Romulans about Romulan space? The Romulans are touchy. Watch what you say, or you'll be in for a fight. The Remans don't even bother talking before they fire, so I think they're more dangerous than the Romulans. Sela's found some new allies, too. They're from the Delta Quadrant, but I don't know much about them. What should I do now? Wish me luck! Oh, and I'd check in with Admiral Tanay before you leave. She might have new orders for you. Okay. Goodbye. One second. Let's go with Andorian Engineering Officer. Now. 
You may have heard about the tragedy at Kittimer. Empress Sila attempted to disrupt the conference with a bomb, resulting in the death of Commander Temer. Now, Sila is offering a political reconciliation with the Federation, despite the fact that we have allied with the Romulan Republic. She has invited Federation diplomats to meet with her delegation at a secure base on the edge of the neutral zone. However, we have recently received intelligence that Sila is amassing a fleet. We are sending you with the peace delegation as cover for your investigation into Sila's activities. This is a very delicate situation. You must try to covertly obtain information about Sila's plans without disrupting our peace efforts or upsetting Sila. However, we do have an agent in her retinue who will help you. Okay. I have new mission. Before we do, I just want to double check something. Yeah, I have to wait a tiny bit more till I get a new ship. And we're just going to transwarp there. Okay, we have arrived at the Agamara system, Captain. Incoming hail, sir. Do you want me to put on the main view screen? On screen, then. Greetings, and welcome to Agrama. I am pleased that Agra, Starfleet sent it. such a notable officer as its representative at this conference. Please enter a standard orbit and transport down to This meeting may mark the beginning of a new day for the Federation and the Yeah, turn the music down a tiny Empire. bit. There we go. I hope we can find a path to peace. There's been too there's been too much conflict between our peoples. Okay, wait. You've entered, st entered standard orbit. Are you ready to beam down? Wait, team. Assemble in the trans in transport room one. Still haven't updated their uniforms yet. <laughs> It's going to take a tiny bit because, because I have no idea why. <laughs> okay, it's patching itself. I forgot that. Hey Yosa, how you doing? Okay, I need to take a small, minor, little break here. I need to readjust my chair. The backrest decided to drop. I'm just leaving it on the screen right this second, and using... <sighs> pull this up. <laughs> Don't want to really pull out the... the plug. <laughs> Stretch, yeah. Dang, that knob is twisted tight. Oh well. I'll just get a couple of pillows and be and use that. So I'm muting this right this for right the second.
Okay, that's better. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, did the music stop? No, it didn't. Just another... Just the way it was. Okay. What do I need to do? Oh. Hello there. The rest of the delegates are already in the conference room. My aide, Jevam, will take you there. I have some business to attend to before we begin. It's a pleasure to meet you, Empress. I look forward to a productive conversation. Okay, that's what I have to follow. Yeah. There's... The Romulans are split up into two parts right now. The Romulan Star Empire and the Romulan Republic. Right now we're talking with the Romulan... No, we're in here at a bit of diplomacy, as you can see here. Okay, let's just talk to diplomats here. It is agreeable to meet with you. You have my people's enduring gratitude for how you handled that matter with Ambassador Soketh. This is another trying time for Vulcan. The Romulan Star Empire blames the Vulcan Science Academy for the Hobus supernova that destroyed their world. They are utterly intransigent in this misguided belief, despite the fact that Ambassador Spock warned them of the danger and ultimately gave his life to stop the loss of even more worlds. Ah, Romulans are a most illogical a people. Bit. Sometimes I find it hard to believe we were once a single species. Okay. Welcome to Agrama. Isn't this a lovely facility? You must tour the atrium later. Hard to believe this system was infested by Orion pirates not long ago. You know, some of my colleagues were against this meeting, but I lobbied for it. I said the entire Federation cannot be as blind as the people who were at the farce at Kittimer. If you just see the problems the Romulan Republic are causing, I'm sure you can persuade your government to reconsider their rash choice and sever their agreements with these rebels. It'll take more than a warm welcome to make us change our minds about the Republic, Counselor. I am so pleased to see the Federation recognize and attempt to rectify its past mistakes. I knew that a people as clever as yours would realize eventually that it is folly to antagonize the Romulan Star Empire. I am also confident it will only be a matter of time before you realize that you have made a grievous error by allying yourselves with terrorists, scoundrels, and thieves. Okay, I need to turn the down sooner the music you renounce your poorly considered alliance with the so-called Romulan Republic, the sooner we will be able to come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. Okay, I can only say that I'm glad we have taken this first step. Talk with the other... Diplomats. The Romulans can be so difficult to deal with, especially these Imperials. They are forever setting traps, twisting words, and jockeying for advantage. Even a conference with the Klingons would be preferable. At least you know where you stand with Klingons. Well, you'll see, Yoza. I'm reminded of a line I read once in an ancient Earth text. Hide a knife behind a smile. Every smile here hides a knife. Okay, I'll be on my guard. I thought the Federation's alliance with the Romulan Republic would be the end of any meaningful dialogues with Empress Sela. After all, she considers the Republic to be a terrorist organization. She may have an ulterior motive for inviting us here, but we had to take the chance that Sela's offer to negotiate is sincere and act in kind. The Federation must pursue every avenue for peace. I agree, Ambassador. Maybe she's seen how pointless this conflict is. We are so pleased that you were able to attend <laughs> our conference. The Empire was quite dismayed at your decision to support the terrorist insurgents rather than the rightful government of the Romulan people. So much for your vaunted Prime Directive. In any case, Neither of us benefit from extended conflict. So, despite your questionable alliances, we are choosing to open negotiations in hopes of normalizing relations between the Federation and the Romulan Star Empire. 
Let us consider today as a first step towards a lasting accord. Now what? I apologize for the interruption. My name is Tokath. I am one of the stewards here. We've had a slight complication with the dietary requirements of some of your delegation. Could I borrow you for a moment so we can clear this up? I guess so, but I'm not sure how much help I'll be. Can't really read that bubble. Okay. Just following them. Franklin Drake says you can be trusted, and that is enough for me. There's more going on here than a diplomatic conference. Sela has no interest in courting the Federation. So why is she suddenly doing so now? We're going to find out what she's up to. What do you propose? The lower level of this facility is off-limits to everyone but the Empress and her aides. But that access hatch right over there opens up to a maintenance tunnel that leads down. The doorway is guarded. So while I distract the guards, you sneak through the door. Lead the way. I figure out. Okay, I can't really walk. I have a nice walk speed. And in we go. The hatch is just ahead in the northeast corner of the room. There will be a security room near the exit of the maintenance tunnel on the level below us. Access one of the consoles there. Maybe you'll learn more about what she's doing. I need to get back to the reception before I'm missed. But I should be able to cover your absence for a few minutes. More than that, and you're on your own. All right then. That's locked. Which can't... Okay, yeah, I need to fix this bloom. That's... See that light? That's a little bit too much for me. Nope, that's chat. In-game chat, that is. <laughs> That's somewhat better. Wait. There we go. Cinematic focus is off. That's better. Console, console, console right here. Okay, I really definitely need to work on it a little bit more. <laughs> Just to have, let's have that in view. That off. Let's try turning off... There we go, it's that lighting 2.0. I didn't like it when they came out with it, I still don't like it now. Although... Everything just went all... all wonky for how it looks, so... 
It's gonna have to stay on, unfortunately. Okay, access communications log. Okay, for our agreement, my ships have acquired the Borg here and towed it to the planet system. I anticipate your prompt acceptance of our proposal for new hunting grounds and the interesting prey you have promised us. Access security cameras. Okay, let's access the storage facility camera. Empress, the fleet is on its way to Vulcan. Excellent. Have the weapons loaded aboard my ship. I will depart as soon as they are on board. At last, we will have our revenge for the destruction of Romulus. Hail Hakiv and put him through to my personal terminal. Then leave me. I have matters to attend to. Yes, Empress. Okay, office camera. Computer, begin playback of file 2895 Gamma. After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged a campaign of peace. 21 years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. Computer, end file. I cannot suffer more of that arrogant fool. Soon Vulcan will suffer the same fate as my world. Okay, back to root. And... Oh, and activate transporter inhibitor system. And disable that. And access the comms channel. I have Hakiv, Empress. Patch him through. Greetings, Empress. My fleet has launched for Vulcan. I expect you to rendezvous with us there. Alas, I must disappoint you. The terrorist cells of the Romulan Republic demand my full attention. Chitmer did not go as planned. Now they have powerful allies. And with Taurus missing. Spare me your excuses, Hakiv. Nothing is more important than avenging the destruction of our homeworld. You disappoint me, Hakiv. I trust you will not do so again. Key. Let's exit that. I have to destroy those weapons. Okay, they have su it's subspace weapons. Great, just great. And one more. I should have known the Federation would send spies instead of diplomats. And you call us treacherous. No matter. You may have destroyed these weapons, but my fleet is already en route to Vulcan. You cannot stop what has begun. Guards! Capture the intruders! disabling the transport inhibitor. Your ambassadors are safely back on their ships, but I had to blow my cover to get them there. Now it's time for me to get out while I still can. Thanks Farewell. for thanks for help, Tokath. I hope we can meet again someday.
Beam us up! Okay, the, um, the sailors are immediately emitting a dampening field that has knocked our engines offline. Diplomat diplomatic vessels have been similarly affected. Okay, in that case, initiate a feedback pulse. Take out these ships before I can even hit, before I can even warn Starfleet. <laughs> Feel as warn them! Okay, hail communications is now all available, sir. Hail Admiral Tanay. I had not expected to hear from you so soon. Was your mission successful? Sela has launched an attack an attack fleet and is, her target is Vulcan. I should have expected as much. You cannot trust them. I never do. 
I am contacting all available ships. We will meet you there. Good luck, Admiral. Uh, now read the second, I want to get that bit of loot. I'll take... I'll take that. Let's warp to the Vul... Warp to Vulcan. Maximum warp. <laughs> Thanks to your warning, we were able to divert some ships to defend Vulcan. I have come to personally command the defense. The other forces have already been briefed. Your role in this battle will be to defend the science vessels that have set up a tachyon detection grid to detect any cloaked Romulan ships. We cannot allow any enemy ships to slip through. I understand, Admiral. The ships maintaining the grid will be priority targets for the Romulans, but they must remain in position or the grid will collapse. That is why I need you to protect them. Understood. Thanks a lot for jinxing us. <laughs> How can you fight what you cannot see? Surrender now, and I may give you a merciful death. A merciful? Highly doubt it. Oop. Our tachyon detection grid has revealed scout ships attempting to penetrate the perimeter. Science vessels, uh, come on, give me, come on. on the Romulan fleet.
how to deal with the deal with the ships here. I got a fleet here to help. doing
Airship cloaked. You may have won this day, but the fight will continue. Romulus will be avenged. There will be blood for blood, death for death. My world is gone. I will not rest until Vulcan suffers the same fate. Vulcan's not to blame, Sela. The Federation wants peace with your people. Indeed. Then why does Starfleet use ships equipped with weapons of mass destruction? Why did the Vulcan Science Council willfully refuse to assist us when there was a chance to save our world? Every sorrow in my life can be laid at the feet of the Federation. You are blinded by anger and grief. I hope you see the truth before it's too late. Uh, we'll scan the debris in a sec. We're going to help defeat the main fleet that's left. I have to scan the debris. So the debris has traces of Borg energy signatures. I think the Romulans may have modified their ships with Borg technology. Hmm. Something to look into. Okay, we've completed our objectives here, sir. Are we ready to part the system? Let's leave. Ah. Okay, the people of Vulcan and Starfleet Command have both asked me to congratulate you on averting what could have been a terrible disaster. I am deeply concerned by your discovery of Romulan attempts to modify board technology. Sela is desperate and to hold the remnants of the Romulan Star Empire together, and desperate people take the greatest risks. Under the circumstances, it's logical to assume that we have not seen the last of Sela. Perhaps she will come to realize that Vulcan and Starfleet were not to blame for the destruction of Romulus before she returns. And I'm taking the overcharged uh, plasma sniper rifle. I have new missions for you. Okay. The leaders of the Romulus Star Empire have been blinded by their ambition to regain power to the point of madness. We believe they've begun to incorporate Bork technology into their ships. The Talshar were studying Bork technology in a sphere delivered to, delivered to them by the Herogens. It is currently in the Palatius system. Travel there and destroy it. Then determine a method to track down any Bork technology the Romans may have salvaged. Even a small piece of it could prove devastating. Okay. I have new missions for you. Wrong one. Oh. Don't have to really go too far. Just have to turn the ship around. <laughs> ah, that's okay, Yoza. The only major thing you missed was you, we had to defend Vulcan. Okay, desperate measures. 
yeah, the Roman Star Empire was definitely as... as bad as you expect. Still. And they've incorporated Bork technology to their stuff, so... Yeah. Captain, we have the Borg Sphere on sensors. There are multiple Roman patrols in the area, sir. We need... We'll, we will need to deal with them before we can scuttle the sphere. Base shields and set a course for the closest Romulan ship. Reinforcements. Yeah, risky at best, assimilated at worst. Scan the sphere. Not picking any signs of Rhyme ships, and there are no life signs on the sphere. Recommend we destroy it now. Arm the weapons again. And there it goes. Captain, our top priority should be to find any technology or research the Romulans may have salvaged already. There's a Romulan communication satellite in this area. If we program it to transmit an emergency signal, the Romulans will send a ship here to investigate. We can hide behind that asteroid. If we run, if we want to run minimal power, the mineral content should disrupt sensor readings. Once that patrol vessel arrives, we can use a recommended reconfigure type to. A class 2 probe to essentially tag the Romulan ship. Even if they cloak, we'll be able to follow the probe's energy signature. If there's a base anywhere in this region, we'll find it. Okay! That's not it. And activate the communication satellite. Okay, exit now. We just need to find a place to hide. If we fly behind that asteroid and power down our systems, I think we should be able to avoid detection. Stop, stop, stop. Power down the systems to minimal. And it worked! Got a vessel. And you got ta and it's tagged. Okay, what are you going to do? And the ship has gone to warp, sir. Based on the telepathy of the probe, I believe they're heading to the Gasco system. 
There's a small colony on a space station there, laying a course to Gasco, sir. We can leave as soon as we're ready. Right, let's warp there then. We arrived to the Gasco system, sir. Scans confirm Borg technology on the station. They have detected us. They're launching several ship ships, and they've activated their defenses. We have the element of surprise on our side for the moment, but they are bound to call in reinforcements. We recommend we el eliminate resistance and beam down to the station as quickly as possible. Agreed. Stay out of the range of those turrets. Shields got up before those came back. Okay, I have to save the turrets here, but they're only be only be all fine temporarily. Oh, that's good. Okay, sir, we've, we've arrived in Gasco Station. The station is on high alert. We should expect heavy resistance. Normally, Starfleet attempts to resolve conflicts peacefully, but in this case, security of the quadrant requires an armed response. We should interrogate any scientists we find along with along the way to determine where the pork research is located. Okay. Before we do... Oh, I got, I got a lot of tribbles. <laughs> Yeah. Trying to see what else I can. Let's. Just trying to get this upgraded real quick. Or is. Okay, no. No tech up. It needs tech upgrades. Great, I have to wait f wait a little bit for them. Oh well. Till then. Starfleet, what are you doing here? We've traced Bork technology back to the station. We intend to destroy it. Really, I sympathize that the Bork tech. Really, I sympathize that Bork technology is creepy. We all hate it. We don't have any choice but to work for the Tal Shiar. 
You're holding my sister hostage to make sure I behave. And she's not the only one. Okay, I'll do what I can to help her. You might hate, need... Ah. You might need help yourself in a minute or two. Your transport was detected, detected and the station's on high alert. Security forces are on their way. You don't have a chance. We have no choice. We need to stop what's happening here. I promise you'll try to help my sister, and I'll unlock all the doors at Turbulos for you. There. She, she's near the medical bay. Good luck, and don't forget my sister. We'll get her out. You the lead scientist? You, are you from Starfleet? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. I have no lo love for the Talshar, but I do have a family. If I complete my work, the Talshar will guarantee my sa guarantee our safety. Perhaps we can rescue them. Where are they located? Most of the families are being held in the medical lab. You will need to cross the engineering levels to get there. Be careful. Some of what they're working on there, on there is quite dangerous. Really. Any use of Borg technology is dangerous. You've, you've ta you're talking about devices designed to regenerate damage, replicate themselves, and assimilate anything they can reach. If we had a breach in containment, we could lose the station and everyone in it. Thank you. We'll do what, you, what we can for your family. And down we go to engineering. Need to. There's one more security team. Okay, let's access the research logs. Research log one. Okay. The Herosha has held up their end of the bargain and delivered and disabled the Borg suit to the Palladia system. As a precaution, we have not moved the sphere, sphere from that location. I do not want to risk powering any systems that might trigger the Borg's regeneration pro protocols. <coughs> However, I do feel it's safe to begin dismantling and analyzing the sphere components. The Borg technology shows great promise, and I believe that we we'll be, will be able to improve our weapons and shield technology well within the Empress's timeline. Number two, work to integrate Borg components into our vessels have begun. So far, the process is proceeding as expected. We have increased the combat capabilities of our ships by upwards of 30%, and I still feel like we are barely scratching the surface. There's so much about Bo the Borg technology I do not understand. Some of my researchers have expressed concerns over the risks of experimenting with this technology. 
I have explained that the circumstances are beyond our control forces us to take extreme measures. I suspect they'll continue to have misgivings, but they no long but they no longer share them with me. And finally, log three. Now I feel now I share my staff's misgivings about this line of research. Incorporating Bork technology into our ships is one thing. But this Commander Navek has taken over our medical bay and is experimenting with incorporating Borg technology into our citizens. Anyone that expresses discontent with their pro with the program or either disappears or finds their family being held hostage to ensure their cooperation. We should have never sided with the Tal Shiar, and now it's too late. Oh, this is not good. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Okay, let's unlock the cells here. <coughs> yeah, that's a good thing, I agree. Take that. And unlock the cells. Can't even express to my gratitude. Uh, express my gratitude. I'm from Sir... Serini Prime and one of the colonies that is still neutral in the conflict between the Republic and the Tal Shiar. Before all this, I was vocal proponent for the Republic. All I can think is that I attracted the wrong kind of attention for my outspoken beliefs. What do you mean? One day I went for the walk on the cliffs near my settlement. I remember seeing something strange, hearing a metallic buzzing, and everything went black. I woke up in the cell, no one will tell me where I am or why I'm here, and what they do, they say is that I'm a test subject. They're planning on implanting me with Bork technology. I didn't think anyone could ever be so callous, not even the Tal Shiar. We'll get you home. Olympic, want to beam up. Okay... Oh, that's not good. This is Lute hello. This is Lieutenant Commander Wiles. I've just just wanted to let you know your brother is safe and aboard our ship. Thank you so much now to allow me to assist you. These access codes will wipe our computer core, destroying all of our data. No one will be able to replicate what we've done here without that information. Thank you. And let's download those access codes. Okay, purge computer core. Upsilon beta two four one. Now let's beam out of here. Yeah, I think they do. I think they did that already. So the Romans are activating their simula assimilated ships. We have to destroy them. If we fire weapons at one of them. It'll come online faster. But I think I could delay their activation if we could get close enough to send a command sequence. Okay, delay the ship activation. Okay.
Well, that... that really moved me. <laughs> Thank you again for rescuing me from an unpleasant fate. If I could impose upon you one once more, would you be willing to take me to my colony? I must deliver a report on what's happened to our ruling to our ruling council. I'd really like to see my family again. Be our pleasure. And let's leave. I have forwarded your mission reports and the recovered data to Starfleet Intelligence. We now know the Romulans have been researching Borg technology, and they were willing to risk a war with the Federation to advance their goals. There is a 76.77% chance that Starfleet will have to take action against the Romulans to prevent them from upsetting the balance of power with this research. If that occurs, I predict that we will need you and your crew to assist in averting calamity. You have done well. Live long and prosper. Okay, and let's go with... Let's go with this one. I have new missions for you. Takela, the survivor you rescued from Demora Station, has provided some very interesting information about both the Tal Shar and the new race with which they've allied. Meanwhile, the Romulan Republic and neutral colonies are continuing to report mysterious abductions. We believe these two events are related. Takela wants to go home to her colony on Sereni Prime. The colony there has remained independent from both the remains of the Romulan Star Empire and the burgeoning Romulan Republic. That puts them in a delicate balancing act. We thought taking Takela home could be a good opportunity to figure out what's happening behind the scenes of the Romulan conflict. We would like you to go to Sereni Prime and investigate. Okay, then. I have new missions for you. How far away is it? Well, not that far. Let's see if there's... Oh, come on. Let's see if there's anything I can claim here that would be good to take. And that is new. Also, I need to really clean out my inventory. <laughs> On a remote world, scientists are adapting Borg technology to suit their own needs. A Federation crew caught in an impossible situation fights to survive, but help may not arrive in time. Who will heed their desperate call? In their anguish, the Romulans could cause a greater tragedy than even they imagine. Okay, let's begin shadow play. After we've arrived in the Sereni system, there's supposed to be a neutral. There, this is supposed to be a new neutral colony, but I'm detecting multiple Romulan Star Empire ships as well as a shield wall surrounding the planet. If this is a blockade, they're very serious about it. But actually, serious about keeping people out. The warbirds are arming their we are arming weapons, sir. We might have a fight if we want to return our guests to our colony. Speaking of which, Takela wants to have would like a word. Extra through. Can't thank you for turning me. 
I can't thank you enough for returning me. It looks like the Romulan Star Empire has been busy while I was away. They were already allowing our, cas our council to join them, but, Ro but the Romulan, but the Romulan Pu Republic envoys are there as well. Now the Empire is blockading the planet, planet probably to prevent information like ours from reaching their leaders. Our leaders. The shield wall is new. I guess the Tal Shiar constructed it. You should be careful. Yeah, this is the first time we ran afoul of them. Okay, the plan is protected by the Raman Star Empire. State your business. Okay, I'm returning this citizen to her homeworld. Indeed. Identify the citizen. Let's lie. Okay, that's not gonna work. I'm, I'm cheesing this a little bit. Okay, I didn't realize Sirini Prime was a protectorate of the Raman Star Empire. Technically, it's not. However, the Empress has graciously extended her protection to all worlds in this region's space, including Serene Prime. There's been recent reports of a terrorist activity on this planet. Uh, as a service to this law, to the lawful residents, we are securing the world against further intrusions, whether the Serenians like it or not, of course. Um, I have come to trade. Excellent. We welcome peaceful contacts with the Federation. I assume you will agree to submit to a routine search for contraband. Lower your shields and prepare to be boarded. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, crud. Yeah, that, yeah, I agree. <laughs> but hey, at least I try, I'll try. With with Sela in charge, it's instead of being authoritarian, it's more along the lines of I want to want to destroy anything that doesn't agree with us. And basically revenge. Okay, let's beam down. Do 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 have to wait. Okay, I can't believe I finally made it home. Thank you. I I never thought I'd see this place again. I would like to give you the grand tour such as it is, but I need to get back to my family. I never thought I'd see them again either. You should talk to, our, to a representative from our council. Follow the path ahead and it'll lead you to our central square. There, there should be someone there you can speak with. Okay then, welcome home.
Jolan True, and welcome to Serini Prime. Oh, thank you for returning to Kella to us. I'm sure her family is pleased she is safe. However, you have arrived at an interesting time. I was just preparing to meet with representatives from the Romulan Star Empire and the Romulan Republic. Each are urging our colony to join their faction. We've done our best to stay out of the conflict until now, but I fear we will soon be forced to take a side. Yes, we met one of the Empire representatives in or orbit. They tried to destroy my ship. Yes, the Empire has a way of offering assistance that feels more like a threat. They offered security services for my world, and I could not risk refusing them. And, to be fair, there have been no abductions since the fleet began protecting the planet. Abductions? A number of our citizens went missing in the weeks before the Empire arrived. The Empire blames the Republic, of course, but I think Sila likes to blame them for a lot of things. There's no evidence they are responsible, however. In fact, there's no evidence at all. And I think that if the Republic were behind these kidnappings, they would leave some trace behind. Okay, if you would care to speak to the representatives, I would be interested in hearing what your opinion of them is. Okay, I'm honored by your request, Counselor. You're not welcome here, Starfleet. The counselor feels differently. She asked for me to speak with you and give her my opinion. Then she is a fool. The Federation are allies of the terrorists who seek to destroy what remains of our glorious empire. You will do nothing here but sow dissent and unrest. I also know that you destroyed a ship protecting this planet with callous disregard for the safety of the citizens of this colony. I have nothing more to say to a murderer. You left me no choice. You had no choice. Those words have been excused, been the excuse of monsters since time immemorial. On the chance, however, that the council is foolish, foolish enough to be swayed by your biased opinion, I'll explain that the Romulan Star Empire is Serene Prime's only hope for peace and stability. We alone possess the military strength and operational effectiveness to keep this planet safe. The terrorists from the Republic can only offer them a portion of their own loss and suffering. The Empress has already sent ships to defend this colony. That is evidence of our of our intentions. Your intentions are clear, Sub Commander. I think I've heard enough. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you. What can I what can I do to help you? What's your mission here? My intent was to speak with the Council about the advantages of joining the Republic. Fortunately, I arrived before the blockade and the council has, and the council extended their protection to me. Otherwise, I'd be on my way to one of the Talshar's prison facilities by now. The Empress likes to hide her threats in a few layers of deception and lies. It can be difficult for a peaceful world like Serene Prime to resist, but if we all stick together, we'll be able to rise up and defeat the Talshar once and for all. You have ambitious goals, Subcommander. Good luck! Well, what did you think of them? Uh, I may be biased, but I think I should join the Republic. An interesting perspective. Thank you for your suggestion. Our most convincing evidence comes from a survivor of Viranat. And if his story can be believed, he says he knows who is behind these abductions. You should speak to him before you leave. He's behind that building. Okay, I'll listen to a story. Yes, I was at Veranad. My family died there. My friends. It wasn't terrorists who destroyed my home, and it certainly wasn't the Republic. It was the Tal Shiar and their friends. But you don't have to take my word for it. Baronad has been abandoned since the attack. Go and see what our Empress has done to her people. Sorry for your loss. Let's beam up and go to Baronat. Okay, sir. The course is locked in for Baronat. However, they're arriving the ships are cloaking. They're hailing us. 
Oh, you are wanted for crimes against the Romulan Star Empire. Lower your shields and prepare to be boarded. You lower your shields and prepare to be boarded. Okay, there's a Rob sir, there's a Romulan Republic vessel here as well. They're hailing us on screen. You appear to be having some difficulties with the Tal Shar. Please allow us to assist. This is the least we could do for our ally allies of Starfleet. Glad to have help, Commander. <laughs> Talshar will no longer tr trouble you. Do you require anything else? No, thank you. Thank you for the assistance, though. Okay, come on, take the items. And... Sir, I recommend we cross the shield barrier, but... Oh, man, exit the system before the Talshar reinforcements arrive. Great, lay in a course. Let's warp out of here. I have no idea. I think the... I think the transporters would adjust accordingly. We arrived at the Veranat system. Sensors are detecting no signs of activity in the system, not even satellites. For once, for a once populated world, the sensor silence is eerie. Set a course for the planet. Sir, so the debris appears from a Romulan vessel. It's old, but it took some heavy energy weapon hits before it was destroyed. You know, normally don't see battles like this near agricultural colonies. Sir, this appears to be debris from a vessel of unknown configuration. However, the energy signatures conform to limited information we have about the Alachi. There's not enough here here for the ship to have been destroyed, sir. Whatever it was, it was probably it probably survived the battle. This could be the mysterious enemy the survivors were talking about. Could be the could it be the Alachi? We need more info. And now to get to the planet. Oh, okay. Yeah, it must have been a sensor echo then. Highly doubt it, but it must have been. Are you ready to beam down to the surfacer? Okay, let's beam down. Excuse me. This place is destroyed, Captain, but the damage is only a few months old. I am not detecting any humanoid life signs. However, there are several insect life forms around the area. We should be cautious. Okay? Boy, those things look... Boy, those insects look... Look weird. <laughs>
Let's scan the colonists here. Sorry, although this colonist died of plasma weapons discharge, her tissues appear to be affected with some kind of fungal spores. Bio readings are, get, are somewhat similar to those readings from the prisoners on Installation 18. Okay, the evidence of the latch involvement is mounting. Let's take a sample. Looks like they have some kind of festival when they were attacked. Yep. They were. So that's kind of spoilers for the Romulan story. Well, Romulan Republic storyline. Go scan that crater. This crater was crater was detect, created by an orbital strike from plasma weapons of Romulan origin. Yeah, I played the, all the campaigns, but remember, it's been a while, and they've changed up of things. Like, for example, there's the Spectre story arc. Instead of it being part of the main storyline, it's now a side thing now. That I can only play when I reach level 65. Anyway, this crater was created by an orbital strike from a plasma weapon of Romulan origin. Since it's doubtful the, colon the colony is destroyed, since, since it's doubtful the colony destroyed themselves, it could only have been the Tal Shiar. This is it's a windmill blade, Captain. Many of the Romulan col many of the Romulan colonies are using alternative power source supplies such as these. With damage to the bl with to the blade, though, this structure was with several explosive blasts of uh, extremely high power. Okay, re let's retrieve a sample. And even more of those insects. Yeah, so right now I have no idea what they've done to the storyline. I think this device is some kind of beacon. It doesn't conform with any technology I'm familiar with. However, the components seem to match some of the equipment we discovered on Installation 18. Okay, get a full scan. Sir, I'm detecting substrate transmission. We can access it at the console over there. Way over there. Welcome, guest. You have one message from Empress Sila. Would you like to play it now? Citizens of the Empire, it is with great sorrow that I report the destruction of our colony in the Viranat system by the terrorist insurgents known as the Romulan Republic. I believe most of the residents of Viranat were loyal subjects of the Empire who were unaware of the terrorist cell hidden amongst their homes and families. Their deaths are a tragedy. 
when the Tal Shiar attempted to remove the insurrectionists and save Varanat and its people. The Romulan Republic destroyed the entire colony rather than submit to the lawful authority of my forces. I grieve for the loss of innocent life. Rest assured that those responsible will be found and punished for their crimes against the Romulan people. Veranat will not be forgotten. Okay, I'm getting unusual energy readings. So the ones we received from that strange beacon. Yes, these things. Captain, a ship from unknown from an unknown configuration has decloaked and is arming its weapons. Recommend you and the away team return their ship. Beam us up. It was a scout ship, Cabin. We drove it off, but I'm ex expecting reinforcements any moment. Acknowledged. <laughs> Received priority substance trans transmission from Starfleet Command. Command, do you want me to put it on the main view screen? Okay. To all Starfleet vessels, our allies in the Romulan Republic are under attack by the Tall Shar. All combat-ready vessels are ordered to report to New Romulus immediately. Individual oh. orders to follow. Open a channel to Admiral Tenay. Thank you for responding so quickly. Your orders are to rendezvous with Battle Group Phi at Viranat and proceed to New Romulus to reinforce our vessels there. The battle is already underway. Okay, we're on our way, Admiral. Glad to have you here. Let's get to New Romulus. Okay, let's warp there now. We are grateful beyond words for your help. You have arrived in the nick of time. New Romulus does not have the developed orbital defenses necessary to repel such an attack, and Admiral Kerarek is calling for as many ships as possible to defend the planet. The flotilla protecting the planet has been pushed back by the enemy assault. They are at their final line now. They need your help. All right, they're on battle stations. Glad you could join us. Concentrate fire on their command ship.
jumping around. the hell were they bypassing? Oh yeah, no, it's the design of those, the design of those disruptors. Bypass. the command ship.
Okay, we're being hailed by the Republic, probably the Republic, on screen. On behalf of the Romulan Republic, thank you for your assistance today. You have saved our new world from destruction. We cannot begin to repay these deeds you have performed today, but know that your names will go down in history. Okay, we're honored to be of service. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. Okay. Let's get the heck out of Dodge, as I was saying. They, the, rest, the fleet could mop up everything else. This is we took out their command ship. Okay. The Romulan Republic extends their sincere gratitude for your assistance in saving their homeworld. Oh. We now know the race you encountered there is called the Ilachi, and they are the Tall Shar's new allies. From what you found on Viranat and what they tried to do at New Romulus, I'd say that whatever they're doing, it's not in our best interests. The Republic is continuing to search for clues to reveal what exactly is happening to the people being abducted by the Alachi. You, however, may be set to a different task. Okay, then. Let's take the plasma torpedo. I have Congratulations, made. Lieutenant Commander. Okay, Taurus. The cause of the supernova that destroyed Romulus remains a mystery. Our allies in the Romulan Republic have a theory on the matter, however. They believe that Taurus, the former praetor of the Romulan Star Empire, is responsible. Republic forces attempted to apprehend her, but she escaped through an Iconian gateway. Recently, the Republic has discovered new information that could help us track down Taurus. We want you to rendezvous with the RRW Lisette and provide any assistance you can. Okay. Alex. I have new missions for you. Yeah, but first, I think we need to get ourselves some new training for our, for our, our crew here. Mainly because we got, because I need new, new skills for everyone. It may be a different ship. Of course, have to move, chug along slowly. And while I'm at it, Bound to character, get bound to account. There we go. For now, anyway. Look 
go on to, on to the star base, get ourselves some new training manuals for our crew here. Actually, our bridge crew. Maybe swap to a different ship. Yeah, different ship. Actually, different ship first, then training manuals. Okay, let's see what we have for... Okay. Either, nor am I taking out a Romulan Republic ship right this second. Just want to double check in this. Okay. Nothing to really reclaim. I did not mean to minimize the game. <laughs> Lithium for that. Nor can I get the Temporal Science Festival. So we're gonna br get the. Just wanna see what how the ships look. I'll just take the free cruiser here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Teutonic. I'm okay with the name. Yeah, continue without save. Harping torpedo in the rear slot. Save you for later. Put in the combat. Oh, see the combat hyper. Oh, there's one of those anyway. That. And replace the neutronium alley with the newer stuff. Want to see if there's anything else? Oh yeah, the approaching agony console. There we go. Now for stations. Put Janelle there. Scarvin there. Oh. That was a bit of a waste then. <laughs> okay, out of dry dock. Nope. 
Ontario Dry Dock. And you Dry Dock as well. Salamence. Where's Salamanca? It definitely needs a new name. Okay, Essex will do. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. <sighs> and to Earth Space Dock we go. Thanks a lot, game. <laughs> Save. Everything's moved. And I'm gonna need to take these off for now. Because guess what we're gonna need for this? Some different weapon some different weapons. Oh uh, that's not I don't want beams. Okay, I'm gonna have to go buy some from the market. Some cheap qua um, cannons. Cannons and a turret. Equipment. Ship weapons. I just. There we go. Let's go for some common ones. Okay. any rank. Damn. In that case, I'll stick with dual beam banks then. Which is a... Or go inequality and... There, that's better. There we go. Now to get the training up. You move over. And I can't equip that onto this. In case you're wondering why I'm not equipping this, the red matter capacitor that I got um, does a lot better than just that. Okay, where? 
think over here, maybe? It's been a bit. Oh, that's not what I was looking for. Nope. I'm not looking for a fleet. Oh, there you are. Officer training. Let's go with rapid fire. Get both rapid fire and scatter volley, and high yield torpedo two. Scarvin's all right with that. Tomet will take over there. Janelle goes there. And Tarsi will go there. Incursion reported in the Andor system. All available ships, please prepare for departure. Oh, and they need to be promoted. Everyone needs to be promoted, duh. Scatter volley instead. You'll get tactical team one and torpedo high yield two. There we go. And for science space. Let's go with hazard emitters. There. Also, while I'm at it, take. That's ground traits, space traits, accuracy, cannon, bulkhead, elusive, thou deadly help. There we go. Let's get out of here to the Hobus system. We'll get over there. I'll fix up the tray. On a forgotten world, a shadow of great evil lurks, waiting for the chance to strike. The truth behind the destruction of the Romulus system may be the harbinger of the greatest threat the Federation has ever faced. Thought I got you set up for that. Oh, wait. In that case... Oh, reload default. Okay. Now, first... Four... Look at all this extra extraneous stuff, except for y you there. The 
brace for impact there. Swap those around, actually. Scatter volley. Distribute. Cannon. Cannon. Engineering. EPS. Get those two tactical teams in there. And torpedo high yield. There we go. Let's begin. Let's begin it. Taurus. Okay, sir, we've arrived in the Hopus system. We are being hailed by the RRW Lisette. On screen. It is a pleasure to be working with you. I heard about how you got your first command. Well done. Not every officer could have stood up to the Borg like you did. Well, the pleasure's mine, Commander. Agents working for the Romulan Republic have recovered definite proof that Taurus, or persons working for Taurus, were responsible for the Hobus supernova that destroyed the homeworld. Our agent spoke to Taurus. She claimed that she was deceived by Hakiv. But that does not excuse her culpability in the destruction of two inhabited worlds and the deaths of millions. Our agent tells us that Taurus believes her Iconian masters can change the past and restore Romulus. So not only is she a killer, she's insane. Okay, what do you suggest, suggest we do about her? Taurus cannot be allowed to commit even greater crimes in an attempt to fix her mistake. My intelligence officer, Lieutenant Gaius Salon, has intercepted communications that may allow us to locate Taurus and finally bring her to justice. I'll let him explain in greater detail. Very well. Greetings. I am Lieutenant Gaius Salon of the Romulan Republic. There are certain pleasantries that are customary in these circumstances. However, I'm choosing to skip those. We have much to do. Recently, the Republic intercepted a transmission from a group of Remans in the Hobus system. These Remans have remained loyal to Taras, the former Praetor of the Romulan Star Empire, who was deposed by Sela. While the transmission was not unusual, its origin point was. The Hobus system is under strict quarantine. However, a previous team uncovered a mining facility at one of the planetary fragments. We believe that the Riemann Loyalists may have returned to this facility to continue their efforts. Okay, why is it under quarantine? The Hobus system is the origin point of the supernova and subsequent subspace explosion which destroyed Romulus and Remus. It is still, as you say, a hot zone. The Riemanns loyal to Taurus are using the quarantine as a cover to resume their operations in the system. The transmission we intercepted was addressed to Commander Aran a Riemann who is the captain of Taurus's personal guard. He must be the liaison to the forces in the Hobus system. Okay, what do you suggest? That's not what I wanted. The direct approach. If we confront the forces in the Hobus system, who are in violation of both Federation and Romulan Republic mandates by their very presence there, they will send a call for assistance to Commander Aranhu. Once he arrives, we simply follow him. It is likely that he will lead us back to Taurus. Okay, sounds like a sound plan. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I've just received emergency orders from Republic Command and must respond. Gaius can transport to your ship and help you complete the mission. We'll return as soon as we can. That will be acceptable, Commander. I am detecting some very rare minerals in the system as well as the presence of protomatter. It is possible that Taurus used the materials here to construct her weapon. Okay. The planetary core contains trace about a protomatter, sir. We should get a sample. Scanners are also picking up some odd readings from some of the icy asteroids near the core. Recommend we investigate them as well. 
Okay, prepare to collect a sample. Stop, stop, stop! Confirm, sir, these fragments are decathlium. If we could support, so if we could support so locate the supply of tech, I say that means Taurus could have had all the ingredients she needed to build the device right in the system. It is still circumstantial evidence unless we could tie it, tie it, her, tie it to her directly somehow. Collecting a sample would be crucial. I recommend we, that we scan for tekasite deposits. Okay, retrieve the sample and set course for the next flat fragment. Hello? Oh, they're not friendly. That's better. Fighting, that is. Still don't like the shape of this this escort should this escort ship, but eh, I can't have everything. Sir, I'm detecting high levels of tekasite in this planetary fragment. Tekasite was one of the substances Starfleet Police was used in the creation of the weapon that triggered the hope of supernova. Okay, let's gather a sample. As I suspected, the materials are all here. Our agent located Taris on planetary fragment Gamma. We should continue our search there. By the way, what I mean by that, it looks like the thing is going to drop this part off somehow. Usually the bottom part of the tull. Scanners are detecting some kind of shield covering a large crater on the surface of planetary fragment Gamma Captain. The system was supposed to be under Gordy, but clearly there's some activity. Let's... We should get, take, get a scan of the shield. Sir, our scans triggered on main defenses systems and a remand ship is decloaking. They're hailing us. Okay. Is this one these ones want to talk? Your presence here is a violation of the quarantines established by at least three sovereign governments. Explain your purpose. We're here investigating your unauthorized presence in the system. What's your excuse? I serve the Romulan Star Empire and its true leader, Taris. That is the only authorization I require. Well, that is most unfortunate. So if we could disable the Sith Ash, we, we, it's possible we may be able to lure out Arano to investigate. My thoughts exactly.
planetary fragment will conceal the ship's energy signature. If we hide in the asteroids near it and mask our energy signature, I predict that Aran Hu will approach to investigate further and be unable to detect us. All right then. Mask our energy signature. What happened here? We were attacked by Starfleet Savages. They appear to have fled. Interesting. This is exactly like Scenario 2247B. I thought Scenario 1849K would be a more likely option. I shall incorporate this data into my modeling projections. Nevertheless, we should now be able to follow Aranhu's trail. He should lead us right to Taurus. Okay, let us hope so. Let's follow the ship. Sir Cor Commander Arano's trail led us here to the Iconia system. This is another system that's off limits to normal traffic, so any activity here is a cause for concern. I recommend we investigate that. Uh, investigate that large crater looks like a likely place to start. Okay, let's set course. Not detecting Arano's ship should it be in an orbit somewhere. Yeah. Okay, he's like looks. Oh, so Blah, blah blah he's most likely cloaked. <laughs> Sir, we're picking up a large shield protecting a structure of some type. The shield is use is using a modified cloaking device. If I have it put out if I haven't been scanning for a large amount of tachyon particles, I would have never found it. Beaver ships are cloaking, sir, sir, they're hailing us. Federation ship, I am Commander Shanklado of the Riemann starship Intraku. Your presence here could be considered an act of war. Leave immediately, or we will open fire. We have no intention of leaving. That is unfortunate, Starfleet. Our conflict is not with you. Commander Arahu has charged me with securing this installation at all costs. Praetor Taris must be allowed to complete her work. And you have already seen too much. Red alert! we should be able to use them to lower the shield and reach the surface. <sighs> Sorry for the on, everyone. Excellent work, Lieutenant. Transmit the codes. Okay, and it's lowered the base shields, and now let's beam down. I said beam down.
These are the coordinates for the underground structure we detected. Reading life signs, sir. Multiple Remans and one Romulan. Our quarry could be just ahead. Let us hope so. Help with the gateway. Send your guards. Your cloak is clipping through you. They appear to have been attempting to merge Iconian and Romulan technology, perhaps in an attempt to reactivate the gateway network. We should access that console and attempt to open the door. Okay, let's do so. Okay, shipping logs. Okay, there are logs here of shipments to and from the base in the Hobus system, as well as schematics for several devices that are similar to recovered Iconian technology. According to the data, there is also stores of Tekasite, Decathlium, and Protomatter on this level. These stores have the same quantum signatures as the elements you recovered from the Hobus supernova. You quickly download the data to the your tricorder. This could be valuable if Tarsus is brought to trial. Okay. It has been decades, and I still find her key's betrayal difficult to accept. He is Romulan. Treachery is his heritage, as it is mine. But to go to such lengths, to destroy our world, oh, it is too much to bear, even now. He told me the device would destroy Donatra, and I, like a fool, believed him. And now, those pathetic refugees from the Republic have told the entire Quadrant that I am responsible for the destruction of Romulus. They don't understand. We should be allies. We want the same thing. At least my people know the truth. A Ron who is a rock. I find it strange that Remans are now my only companions. But perhaps they understand loyalty more than any of us. I rely on him to help me continue my work. The Iconians can restore all that is lost. I know it. I just need to make them see that I am worthy. The Dark Masters have responded to my pleas for assistance with dread silence. My only recourse is to harness their technology for myself. When I can step through the gateway and meet them as an equal, I am confident that they will turn back time and make everything as it was before. The base in the Hobus system is lost to me, but the quarantine holds. A Ranhu can use it as cover to collect the protomatter and bring it back to me. Sila is looking for me. So is the Republic. If only I could make them see. I am our people's last hope. Okay, let's unlock the blast doors. Um... Oh! I was just lucky guess. <laughs> Log off.
And in winning, you have doomed the Romulan people. Well, Taurus, you're under arrest by the authority of Starfleet for war crimes, committing an act of genocide, and crimes against the galaxy. They were not my crimes. I was betrayed by Haki. And now those crimes will never be undone. I hope you realize that in stopping me, you have doomed billions of Romulans to remain dead. Now you shall live with that guilt, as I have. Even now, you deny the truth of your role in the destruction of your people. You are blinded by your own lust for power, and you killed those people as surely as if you had pulled the trigger yourself. Essex, lock out to Tarsus, and beam her directly to the brig. Before we leave, may I suggest that we look for evidence of the materials we discovered at Hobus? Uh, they will undoubtedly prove vital at Tarsus' trial. We should also overload the gateway and make certain it can never be used again. Agreed. Sorry, this is protomatter appears to come from the Hobus system, although there are several uses for protomatter, it is often used for explosive devices. It is also present in the debris from the device that triggered the Hobus supernova. And the protomatter was used in the Genesis, de de Genesis device. It's powerful, but extremely dangerous. This tekasite contains the energy signals, blah blah blah. It is also used as an explosive compound in... Yeah, it's here, it's if it's here, it's connected. This decathlon appears to come from the same source as the decath as the decathlon we discovered in the Hoba system. These links will be uh, reported in Tarsus' trial, and the evidence is stacking up, isn't it? And now we can overload the gateway. Sir, the gateway is programmed to overload. There's no way of stopping. We need to return to the Essex before that happens. We buzz up. Taurus is in the brig, Captain, and all the evidence we found has been logged and secured. Now we just need to deliver it and her to a secure location, to a safe location. Get set of course out of the system. Sir, that's Laval and the ship of Sa the ship of Sailor herself. She's hailing. Wait, what? Yeah, Sailor herself. Yeah. How nice to see you again. I feel like we are becoming old friends. I will admit that your previous attempts to thwart my plans have been irritating, but your actions today have more than made up for those petty annoyances. Taurus still has her loyalists among my people. An open move against her would have been a distraction from my greater plans. I don't work for you. But you played the pawn perfectly. I could not have asked for a more obedient tool. Now, if you will transport Terrace to my ship, we can avoid any unpleasantness. Yeah, I could never be friends with a monster like you. The Lisette informed us that you might need some assistance with the prisoner transport. Good thing we brought some backup. Thank you, Captain Sean. Taurus is wanted by the Romulan Star Empire for high treason and war crimes against the Romulan people. The Empire is the legitimate government of the Romulan people, and I demand you turn this terrorist over for trial and punishment. Taurus's actions did not just impact Romulus, Romulus and Romulan worlds. Her alleged crimes were against the entire quadrant. You'll be welcome to attend and even testify at her trial, or perhaps we could establish an interplanetary tribunal of those impacted by the Hobus supernova. But for now, she will remain in Starfleet custody. You are a disappointment. Nevertheless, you did remove Taurus from the game, and for that I am grateful. 
Consider your decisions more carefully the next time we meet. I can be a powerful ally, or I can be your worst enemy. You're not the kind of ally I need. Okay. Prisoner transfer successful. Taurus is safely secured in the brig. We can take it from here. One more thing. We're detecting some unusual energy residue from the surface. Our databases identify it as Iconian. Yes, there was an Iconian gateway on the surface. A group of Remans used it to escape. Do you have any idea where they went? Yeah, we only caught a glimpse. It looked like some kind of Romulan station. Okay, Commander, the Lacet is decloaking. They're hailing us. Looks like we missed all the excitement, but I have been monitoring your progress. On behalf of the Romulan Republic, I would like to thank you and your crew for your assistance. I am confident that the Federation will provide more than adequate security for Taurus until her trial can be arranged. You can transport Gaius back to the Lisette as soon as you are ready. A pleasure, Commander. Transport room. You are cleared to send Lieutenant Selen. Selen. Ah! Back to Lisette. Okay, let's depart the system. We have much to consider. If the destruction of the Romulan homeworld was a deliberate act, not only was it a mass murder, that one event has been a major cause of the destabilization of the Quadrant over the past 40 years, not to mention the light that it casts on the internal struggles of the Romulan people. This one horrible act set off a chain of reactions that could change the galaxy forever. We must know who did this and why. The interrogation of Taurus will no doubt lead to many truths. But I am troubled by these Remans. Why did they turn on Taurus? And where did they go? Let's go for the regenerative shield array. I have Congratulations, been. Lieutenant Commander. The Romulans had a base known as the Vault that they used for research into Borg technology. This facility was abandoned in the chaos after the destruction of the Romulan homeworld but intelligence suggests that the work there was far enough along that it was used to retrofit Nero's ship before it disappeared along with Ambassador Spock's vessel in the Hobus system. Long-range sensors have detected energy spikes in the Halcona system, and Starfleet intelligence believes that someone is bringing the vault back online. We need to know who, and more importantly, we need to know if there is still Borg technology or restricted weaponry on that base. I need you to proceed immediately to the Hakona system and investigate the vault. Engage if you must, but I would prefer if you could gather the information we need without conflict. Okay. I have new missions. And let's... I think it's a case of we're gonna get ourselves a shuttlecraft even though we have one. You know what? Transwarp. Okay, everyone, while while we're taking care of this. Okay, yeah. I'm because we're getting close to the end of the stream, I am playing an ad. Actually playing the ad in order to base, you know, so we're not getting distracted by by pre rolls at the end of the stream while I'm closing up. So, see you on the other side while I take care of this little bit. Okay, let's beam down. <laughs> Why am I doing that? I have no idea.
Wrong one. In order to avoid drawing too much attention, you need to fly under the radar, so to speak. Admiral Tanay has authorized the requisition of a shuttlecraft for you. You can fulfill the requisition in the shipyard. Once you're ready, take the shuttlecraft out to the Hakona system. If you have a runabout, fighter, or other such craft available, feel free to use it, but do not approach the system in a starship. We want to avoid the notice of whoever's in the vault. A shuttle will also be able to dock with the vault and explore the interior. Understood. Also, Republic Intelligence will be seeing one of their best with you. Uh, on this operation, Commander Tamara. She's been fully briefed and will transport to your vessel as soon as you are ready to depart for Hakona. I trust this won't be a problem. To, uh, problem? Not at all. Any questions? Nope. Not, Very well. not at all. Remember, you must use a shuttlecraft, runabout, fighter, or similar small operations craft to undertake. Okay, yeah. Might as well while I'm here. Yeah, no. I'm just do a little customization. There, that looks a little bit better. That's the cells. Ah. There, that actually looks a lot better. Except, um... Actually, even that looks a lot better. It's just simply the case of the hull color. Oh, there's a hull material. There we go. There we go. And not that. I do own that, so... But first, buy you. It's free! <laughs> I mainly wanted so I could get one thing from that. Oh, I don't own that, so... Dad sent something, so give me one second. Cause I'm this... Okay. Uh, this shuttlecraft, I want the plasma engines. Ready 
this up. Okay, it's a whole bunch of barbecue that that looks really good. <laughs> that's what that's what my dad sent. And I hear muttering. <laughs> okay, why did you get transferred there onto the Okay, you get back on Get back on the ship. Along with you. There we go. Now we're all set. Shuttle information... Blah, blah, blah. And... <laughs> yeah. Psychological warfare, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, he knows I would need 10 pounds of barbecue or die trying. <laughs> It'll all, this will automatically swap me to the, my shuttlecraft, by the way, in case you're wondering. Gonna finish, gonna finish this mission. Obviously, this station isn't as abandoned as Intel suspected. Sensors are reading several Riemann ships in the area, and that's just the ones that we can spot. That station is immense. It must have taken an incredible amount of manpower and technology to build it. It's almost the size of a small moon. Okay. Sensors are reading a sophisticated tachyon detection network, as well as several patrolling vessels. For an abandoned station, this facility certainly has a lot of activity. My people are experts at stealth technology. If we want to approach unseen, we must avoid confrontation and find a way to evade or jam their sensor grid. We must assume that if we engage the ships here, they'll notify whoever is left on the station, and it may become difficult to find an entry point. Okay. Before we do, I need to take care of this. There we go. Oh. Missed one thing. Hazard emitters. There we go. Okay, let's go examine the derelict ship. If I can find it. The Remans have been alerted to our presence. The Remans are all over this system. If we start a fight with one of the ships, we'll probably have to fight them all. And there's no telling how many are cloaked here. We have a number of possible options. Sensors are reading a small... The Remans are all over... All of the construction work... The Remans are all over... The material requirements to make a base of that size must have been enormous. There's a lot... The Remans are okay, all over Okay, large asteroid, which is... Just want to see... That's beacon... Subspace relay, derelict ship... Okay. Go to go for the large asteroid. Remans are all over. There's a small patch of nebula gases near the station. The static discharges in the area are highly intense. We may be able to cover an approach to the station by traveling through the nebula. The okay. Remans are all over this. But first, we're going to try the asteroid trick. Right there. Uh, 
This asteroid is unusually large, and it's clearly been mined. It was probably used for raw construction materials, like most of the debris here. This particular asteroid contains pergium, titanium, and uranium. It was probably tractored from a nearby system and brought here to construct hull components and power system. This fragment is full of duranium. With a little bit of radiation, it'll cause duranium shadows on scanners, which would look like a weapon suite. If the Tall Shi'ar set up their sensor net appropriately, their scanners will exclude this kind of stellar debris. If we give the fragment a nudge with our tractor beam and follow along behind it, we could slip through the sensor grid. Okay. Follow that rock. Approaching the Tachyon grid perimeter. If we're detected by it, that will definitely alert the Remans. Yeah, I know. I'm following this rock. Ooh, that was close. Picking up some unusual energy readings. We'll need to explore the accessible interior areas and see what we can find. Looks like there's another access conduit across from us. We'll have to think three-dimensionally in here. Sensor readings are also picking up a few scattered life signs. Halo shuttle, but I have no idea where that was. I'm trying to find it now. Tail it.
We've tripped some security systems. The doors are a massive set of interior bulkhead doors. They're segmenting the different parts of the base. Possibly a safety measure in case something went wrong in one of the central areas. Access appears to be controlled by use of security keys. We can disable it if we can find a code block that matches part of a security key. Okay. This defense turret was hooked into part of the security network. There's a security code in its subsystem. Is on a rotation. Code block six Each seven code five block matches a piece of one key. Key in the appropriate code when the rotation matches to it. Trying a code on the wrong rotation will probably invalidate that code, so be careful with the timing. That's it. Well done. We There's still power in most of the station. Some of these conduits are damaged. Keep an eye out for energy discharges. Microgravity storage crates, mostly construction supplies. No weapons or unusual energy signatures. Introduced by one thing and then just went from there. This mission, I'm gonna be heading off just so you know. Above us, that's a Borg sphere. The Tal Shiar must have used this base as a storage facility and research area for Borg technology. The Borg sphere is dormant, like it's been put to sleep. It's not the source of the strange readings that long range scans detected. Looks like the sphere's hooked into part of the local systems network. We should be able to exit through the other doors now. Probably a safety precaution to keep them locked. Okay. in this area. Too quiet. Don't jinx us! This is disturbing. 
we're looking at a facility used to build Thaleron weapons. If the Remans have infiltrated this base, they may be trying to secure those weapons. Ah, so our intruder finally arrives at the heart of the matter. Have you seen all that you came to see, little spy? Where are you? Does it really matter? Call me Obasek, if a name is that important to you. Okay, what are you doing here? That should be obvious. I intend to make use of this station to further my agenda. Your presence, however, is a bit more... curious. I expect that you are operating under the Shroud of Empress Sela, whether you realize it or not. I am not an agent of Empress Sela. Did you know Sela's mother was a human? And a Starfleet officer, no less. Given Starfleet's many attempts at interference with the Romulan Star Empire over the years, it is quite obvious that at least some elements of both organizations are cooperating. Either that, or possibly your Starfleet has been tricked into doing the Empress's bidding. Starfleet is a peaceful organization of the ex of exploration, not a political tool. Your protest will do you no good in any case. I expected interference, and I have taken steps to ensure that you will not disrupt my plans. How did you know I was coming? Do you really think I would proceed with such a dangerous plan without my own sources of intelligence? Now that we have come to this exchange, it hardly matters how we arrived here. What is important now is how we proceed. I am afraid our time is at an end. My associates have already finished loading the Thaleron weapons that we need, and I have other operations to manage. I think we both know what happens now. May your death be quick and valorous. Not taking the loot box. Fast as I get out of here. <laughs> on.
door locks. Hurry, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of the station. Reinforcements have arrived and are just past that nebula. We don't have much time. We need to meet with our allies and stop that ship. Yeah. We are now in the micro nebula. Aileron weapons carried aboard the ship. We're going to leave the system under high warp to draw off any reinforcements that might come looking. Suggest you return to Federation space. Okay. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Back to Starbase 39. I'm just transwarping there. You know, every time I beam down here, this guy's been been hanging out there. <laughs> it's 
taken a preliminary look at your logs, and it seems that things went a bit unexpectedly. I have a feeling this isn't the last time we'll be seeing the vault. The Riemann commander you encountered is definitely a major player in the disintegration of the Romulan Star Empire. I'm going to send the information you gathered about him over to an old colleague of mine, Dr. Maximilian Peters, for analysis. If this Riemann is a leader in their separatist movement, we'll have to deal with him again. And hopefully, Dr. Peters can work up a psychological profile for him, and a sociological analysis of the separatists. Our next step will be to decode the signal intelligence and go through any remnants left from the ship that was destroyed near the vault. Now that we know that the Remans were hoping to use Thaleron weapons, we need to figure out their target location. Right now, Starfleet knows far too little about a civil war in the making, but it'll take time to sift through all of the data. Keep in touch. Starfleet will notify you when we have a lead. Oh, and thanks for the good work. Excellent work. We need to learn more about the conflict between Obasek and the Romulans. I Congratulations. Have you. Okay. And that'll be it for tonight. Starfleet intelligence has decoded. No, not right now. Sorry. But yeah, that'll be it for tonight. Anyway, I thank you all for tuning in. Uh, I'll be streaming Battletech Advanced 362 tomorrow. Or maybe MechWare Online, because tomorrow is technically the ba is when the Battle of Two Kids start in the Battletech universe. <laughs> but, but, but these are priority transmissions. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Anyway... I don't know if we're going to be doing Battletech Advanced 362 tomorrow or MechWare Online because, again, it's, 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 this is the day when, when, um, the Battle of Two Kids start for, in the Battletech universe. So, you'll find out whenever I stream. Anyway, I thank you all for tuning in. Please, stay safe out there. Oh, that's Tuesday, yeah. Yeah, it's Tuesday the 21st, unfortunately. That's when the MechWare Online update is. So yeah, I'll be doing Battletech Advanced 362. Never mind on that. Anyway, I thank you all for tuning in. Please, stay safe out there. Oh, yeah, I forgot. For Anyway, I forgot. I have, a, I have a few more things to mention. This is my schedule, as you can see, Mech Online Fridays, A Game Sunday on Sundays, Battlefield Defense 362 on Mondays, all streams are at 7 p.m. Twitter account, Discord, blah blah blah. Anyway, I thank you all for tuning in. Please stay safe out there. Bye everybody.